Hey everyone, Chris from Be Automation here, and today I'm going to explain why a Loxon smart home security system is all you need for your smart home. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. At Be Automation, we implement automation to simplify people's daily lives. This can range from ventilation and extraction in wood manufacturing environments, garden irrigation systems, and of course, smart homes and offices. So today I'm going to explain that the reasons using locks on for your smart security system is in nine times out of 10, more than enough to feel confident that you and your family feel safe and secure. Loxon actually does more than just keep you safe, it also keeps the building safe and protected against things like fire, water and frost damage to name a few. We use Loxon for its versatility, it can be used across all industries from industrial manufacturing to commercial premises which include hotels, restaurants, bars and then even for small custom applications like moving shop window displays. But what Loxon was initially designed for is home automation, and this is where it really excels. And when I talk about home automation, I'm not just talking about a collection of smart devices, I'm talking about a true system that can control every single aspect of your home under the one system and under one app. If you'd like to learn more about Loxon in general, I'll put a link to their website in the description. And if you'd like to learn more about Loxon in more detail, we've created some other Loxon videos focusing on some of the specifics, which again, I will link a couple of videos in the description, and you can also find some of these at the cards at the end of this video. Graded alarm systems. So before we dive any further, let's address the nine times out of 10 that I mentioned earlier, when saying that locks on for your security system should be all you need. And basically what it comes down to is a graded alarm system. Do you need a graded alarm system? And when I say need, the majority of the time you don't actually need a graded alarm, but because most professionally installed alarm systems are graded as standard, you end up getting one. And because graded alarm systems typically need maintaining, this usually means having to pay on an annual basis a recurring service contract. And of course there's nothing wrong with recurring service contracts, but if the alarm wasn't needed in the first place, it seems a little bit silly to have to pay this when it's ultimately not needed. Now, this isn't gonna be a video talking about the differences between graded and ungraded alarm systems, but if you did wanna learn more about these, I will put some links in the description below where I found some useful resources online. But to summarize these resources, you only need a graded alarm system if your insurer deems it necessary. And this is dependent on one, the area that you live in, and then two, the value of contents and high risk items that you have in your property. But let's say that you do need a graded alarm system like Texacom or Honeywell, for example, we can still integrate these with your locks on system so you can still benefit from the same security functions which you get with a locks on security system. And these functions are what we're gonna cover in this video today. Before we get started though, I just wanted to point out that when I talk about a locks on security system, I don't just mean protection against break-ins and burglary, I also mean talking about protecting you, the occupants, and also the fabric of the building itself. But in this video, we're mainly focusing on the protection against break-ins and burglary. And if you were interested in learning more about occupant and building security, we've created another video on this, which we'll link in the description below. Locks on hardware. So what locks on hardware will be needed for security? And the first one is obvious, and that is the mini server. Um, this one that I've got here is the wired in version. And of course, there's also the wireless mini server go. And the mini server, whether it's the wired one or wireless one, is the hub of your home and everything is controlled through this. To benefit from Loxon's full security functionality, we want the mini server to be controlling the lighting, the audio and the blinds. The next thing that the system will need will be window and door contacts and these will send us an indication if there has been a window or door broken into. Next will be our motion or presence sensors, which will be dotted around our home, acting as the eyes and also doubling up as our security PIRs. 
And then finally, perhaps we want window brake sensors, which will trigger an alarm when a break on the window has been detected. Burger alarm breakdown. So let's start with the burger alarm and what's involved with the arming and disarming of it. Now there are two different scenarios for arming the alarm. The first scenario is when we leave the house and this is usually just a simple triple tap of the nearest touch switch to the door. And what this will do is it will switch everything off in your home whilst arming the alarm system. And then when we come home, disarming of the alarm system will most likely be done through a fob or pin but can also be done manually through the app. So the second scenario when we want to arm the burger alarm will be when we go to bed. And this will be, similarly to leaving the house, a triple tap on a touch switch, most likely in the master bedroom, and this will bring on night mode and at the same time enable the security system. In this scenario though, we'll only activate the window and door contact because we want to use the motion sensors for bringing on lights automatically if someone wakes up in the middle of the night. But of course with locks on we can configure the alarm system in whatever way suits you. So for example, perhaps that you did want the motion sensors enabled, but only downstairs, or perhaps only in certain rooms that maybe the dog doesn't have access to. This is all possible. So disarming the alarm after we set it going to bed the night before, what will happen is in most cases, it will automatically be disabled through the morning alarm clock. And if you didn't have a locks on alarm clock, this could also be disabled at sunrise or perhaps an adjustable time that you have access to within the app. Again, this can be completely tailored towards what suits you. So that's the arming and disarming cupboard. Next, as I'm sure you're wondering, what happens when the alarm goes off? And this is when it gets interesting, and this is what we're going to cover next. So let's imagine that you've gone out and you've armed the burglar alarm through a triple tap on the touch switch, and someone's broken in. So the possibilities could be, one, a window has been smashed, triggering the brake glass sensor. Two, the window or door has been broken open, triggering one of the contacts. Three, the room motion sensors have triggered through movement, or four, a combination of all three of these. So as soon as one of these device triggers, immediately you'll get a notification through to your phone, wherever you are in the world, providing that you have Wi-Fi or a 4G connection. And if you don't have a Wi-Fi or 4G signal, we have a backup option, which will just automatically call your mobile phone instead. But this is the first stage of the alarm and what we call the silent alarm, as no alarms have actually triggered within your house yet. As the intruder makes his or her way inside, the motion sensors are now picking up that movement and then this is something that can be seen in real time from wherever you are through the app. And then after a few more seconds, the next stage of the alarm begins and this is what's called the audible alarm. And this is where we take advantage of your audio system and we use it to blare out a siren throughout your house at full volume. Now, because we're using locks on, we can configure your audio system to blare out whatever you like. So perhaps you want something a little different, maybe something a little more scary. It's entirely up to you and don't worry, we don't judge. Anyway, by this point, you would hope that your poor traumatized burglar will be vacating your home. But if he or she is feeling brave and isn't, we've got another little trick up our sleeve. And this little trick is the next stage of the alarm system, which is the visual alarm. And at this stage, we take control of your lighting throughout your house and start flashing them intermittently, whilst at the same time, moving your electric blinds up, fully exposing the burglar to neighbors and passers-by, and hopefully scaring them into finally leaving. Anyway, that's the three stages of the locks on alarm the silent, the audible, and the visual. But if you ever wanted to add or customize these stages, there's always the possibility to do so. And a good example of this, which we see in a lot of commercial properties, is something called a smoke cloak, which is where the alarm is triggered and a smoke machine blasts out smoke throughout the whole premises, uh, ultimately blinding the intruder from seeing what he's stealing. And if you'd like to learn more about this, I'll leave a link in the description below. And it's also worth pointing out throughout this whole alarm process, that the system can be set to automatically notify key holders, 
members of your family, neighbours, security and alarm monitoring centres or whoever you feel needs to know. And you're also kept updated in real time via the app of what's happening within your home through the different stages of the alarm and also being able to see different movements in different rooms throughout the alarm system going off. Next, we're gonna talk about some of the functions and features Loxon has to offer with their security system. And the first one is the panic button. The panic button is a reassuring feature for members of the family who perhaps feel more vulnerable, especially when staying at home on their own. And we can configure any switch in your home to act as one of these panic buttons. And more than likely, this is gonna be perhaps in the master bedroom and possibly the kids' room. And then in the event of hearing something downstairs in the middle of the night, the switch can be pressed and that will trigger the audible and visual alarm at the same time. But perhaps you want to avoid the chances of possibly waking the kids up in the event of a false alarm. Well, we can configure this to only trigger the audible and visual alarm downstairs. Door and window status. So the next thing is the door and window status. And I'm sure we can all agree that it's a bit of a pain going around checking every door and window is closed before setting the burger alarm when leaving the house or perhaps when going to bed. And of course, it'd be much easier to have your home check if these windows or doors are left open and then your notify you if that was the case. Open. And of course, with locks on, that's exactly what we can do. So when we triple tap the touch switch to arm the burger alarm when leaving the house or going to bed, we can also configure the system to only allow this to happen if all the windows and doors are in fact closed. And if they're not, we can configure the system to notify you through the app, or even better, if you've got a multi-room audio system, we can use that to tell you precisely which window and door it is. And if you wanted to go that one step further and really showcase the power of true home automation, we can configure all your doors and windows to automatically close and lock without you even having to know that one was left open in the first place. Present simulation. Prevention is key, and that's exactly what present simulation does. Personally, this feature has to be in my top three things offered by Luxon. And as the name suggests, present simulation simulates people moving around your home when you're actually out for the evening or possibly even on holiday. How this works is relatively simple. Because we're using Loxon to control your lights, your blinds and your audio, we can also configure time schedules where the lights and the audio will randomly come on in selected rooms for random blocks of time. And also, rather than relying on your neighbours popping over to open and close your blinds when you're on holiday, we can allow Loxon to do this as well. And just so you know, present simulation is an operating mode which is enabled automatically whenever you leave your home. Smart access. So let's talk about smart access in relation to security and how that compares to using a traditional key. So the first thing to consider is using a pin code and fob or the locks on app to access your smart home is actually more secure than using a key. And I'm sure most of us know from experience that losing a key can actually be quite unnerving but with the use of a pin code, this is never a possibility. And similarly to losing your bank card, if you ever lost your fob, we're able to remotely disable it and we'd be able to send you out a new one straight away. And then if you're ever using your app to access your smart home, then this should be double secure. Most mobile phones will have a lock screen, which is the first level of security. But what we can also do is put the same level of security on the locks on app. So having to use a pin or facial recognition to access it. And the nice thing about using fob and pin access compared to a key is that they can be limited or scheduled. So for example, your cleaners fob could be set to only work Wednesdays between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. And then perhaps your gardener is granted full access, but only limited to accessing the side gate and the garage. And something else that I've not had the pleasure of trialing yet, but you can also disable your kids' fob or pin had they stayed out longer than their curfew. Another nice feature is being notified when your kids have arrived safely from school and being able to access a log to see the access and doorbell activity from your app 
whenever you need to. The locks on keypads are also tamper proof, so the system will send you a notification immediately if they're tampered with or if there's been an unauthorized entry attempt. And we could also be creative with this and use the external lighting and possible speakers to give them that extra fright and hopefully scare them away. And if you'd like to take smart access to the next level, we can integrate CCTV cameras with number plate recognition to open gates and unlock your doors as you're making your way up the driveway all automatically. CCTV, so just a quick one. Cameras, security cameras, can be integrated within Loxon's ecosystem very easily and all accessed within the app. So just before you go, remember this video was created mainly focusing on protection against break-ins and burglary, and we've made another video covering occupant and building protection, and the link to this video can be found in the description. If you found this video helpful, we'd really appreciate a thumbs up, and if you're interested in more content like this, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you're considering Loxon as your home automation system, please don't hesitate to get in contact. See you on the next video.